Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with the Shelly 1pm which we have seen on the last video to implement the solar photovoltaic I was not recording the screen but I am right now and I'll post it right over here so that you guys can see everything that we will do really simple things but as I was talking about the solar preview we can see it right over here two different systems we are at the end of the day seven o'clock in the afternoon so and, and a cloudy day so have in mind that this production is nothing but I can see right over here what I did during the day using the Shelly 1pm so it's very very versatile now today what I want to show you just the basic functionality and for 13 euros more or less which is the price of this device I'm amazed of what we can achieve and of course what I'm going to show you here is so basic but opens a lot of things and in that particular case just want to say that if uh, by some reason you don't find this implementation enough but if you have the inspiration to use in some other scenario just share with us which will enrich the community now what i've got right over here is something really basic i've got a lamp i've got a temperature sensor which i did implement in the past and one of the things that i did compare with uh, the son of devices that the son of power for example can uh, read the power consumption but to have the temperature i use the son of th16 which has uh, 15 amps if i'm not mistaken and so two different devices while this shelly 1pm uh, having this size can achieve both of these things which is just beautiful just awesome it can read the temperature of my uh, solar water heater system that i've got on the roof it can also read the temperature which i will implement as well on my uh, water heater that i've got on the kitchen but besides that it can read the power consumption which is just awesome and besides i can use it as a switch which is something really basic probably the first thing that it was designed for because uh, it is so small and we can fit it inside our switch traditional switch on the wall but I can do a lot. And one of the things that I would like to share is that uh, the Shelly 1PM by default comes like this. Now I did add the temperature add-on right over here, which then connects through the wires for the um, temperature sensor right over here. And in terms of connectivity, guys, really easy. When you look at this, of course, this is on my touch test bench. This is a mess right over here, but the connectivity, it's very easy. I'll try to explain very fast right over here so what we can see the neutral is the neutral and it will be common so one of the things that i don't like and i think it's the only is that uh, the the space for the wires is not that lot so i cannot fit more than one and having a neutral that it's common i will have to use something like this right over here uh, to have the neutral the two neutrals and then one common that's the only thing everything else just awesome so the first one is the neutral in and out and then we have the phase in right over here the live right over here input and the live output right over here so this will uh, turn on or turn off the device that we want and then here on the middle i've got these two which is for the switch so these two are connected to this this switch right over here and basically this is it this is the way that it works if i want to connect the temperature sensor then i will use this add-on right over here which will connect to these pins right over here and then it will give uh, the readings necessary for the device so it's uh, it, it's really easy and of course it comes with the manuals and so forth so and it's online so very easy to use and this is one of the great advantages so the scenario that i've got right over here is and i want to share with you that this is very exciting very simple and very exciting which is if i implement this on a normal switch on my house which was built doesn't matter when and as a traditional switch like this one i can just turn it on and great but on some systems if i go to my app right over here and if i just go to shelly i can turn it off on the previous menu I can just turn it off here but on some systems what i have to do or the person that comes next to me is it has to put this on the original position and then put it back on this position to turn it on but here and it, we also have that option but in terms of software it's so complete that I don't need to go outside to get the solution. I just need to select which kind of switch I've got. And I just need to press here 
and it will turn on. And this looks something really easy and basic, but not all devices have, which makes me really happy with the solution it has everything and not only on harder but also on softer now you guys that uh, did follow my setup right over here you know that i've got switches that when we press they come back and usually these are the kind of switches that other devices accept and that's one of the difficulties because on our regular homes uh, we have traditional switches and that's where i do believe that this is really really awesome with the size we can just put it on any switch and of course doesn't make too much sense having a temperature sensor on a switch that's the point but one idea or inspiration is that i've got that system already working uh, with a sensor like this not with a shelly i will implement it and will share with you guys but i will use it to measure my uh, water heater and of course instead of turning on the uh, lamp it will turn on the water heater and using the values from the solar PV I will uh, heat my water with free energy not from the grid so this is one of the things that is beautiful and in that particular case the switch will not be useful at all because it will be connected to my water heater system so these are just two or three scenarios but this is a device that we can imagine a lot of scenarios and implement a lot of situations having a software right over here and I did not show the software completely uh, but in terms of temperature if I just hang it right over there and guys stay with me just for a few more seconds just to show you this because this is really nice and there is a delay but as you can see it already changed from 23 to 25 point something and 27.38 so this is just a awesome solution for someone that it's looking especially for water heater elements that we can turn on and off on the time that we want and we want to know which temperature we have before we arrive at home which makes total sense and here we have that solution in a very very affordable way which i will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out i did find i did search in several places amazon and so so forth uh, i did not find many and where i did find they were a bit more expensive so the site that i suggest and the site that i got was from the official shelly site i will leave a link down below you guys can check it out and i think they ship worldwide so that it's just awesome and basically that is it hopefully this video was helpful in some way and hopefully it will get inspiration for some of you guys to deliver your ideas and implement them in an affordable way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up my name is Huerta George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one